You know, there's one thing that I hear a lot that people thinking about relocating to Charlotte is how far is this neighborhood going to be from the airport? I'm Roger Holloway with Proston Realty. We have a fabulous airport, Charlotte Douglas International Airport. And in this video, I want to talk to you about some of the places that I might want to go to nonstop. Right, I'm talking about nonstop flights, direct flights, without a layover from CLT. That's our airport code, S Charlotte International CLT. Wow. Charlotte Douglas International, right there off of 485, which is uh, goes all the way around the city. This is pretty much Mecklenburg County and up in here a little bit. And right there, you can see the airport. You can see the planes coming in, you know, right from the interstate. And so just in terms of 55 plus, because my team and I do a lot of 55 plus, you know, you've got imagery right here. That's close. You've got Trilogy right here. That's close. You've got Bailey's Glen over here. You've got Crestwind here, Charlotte. You've got Crestwind. Um, Wesley Chapel is going to be down here. Pinnacle at Wesley Chapel. You've got Sun City, Carolina Lakes. Treetops down here. Uh, you've got the brand new Carolina Orchards uh, over here, Del Webb. Uh, and there's going to be another Del Webb right over here. And I heard today about another Del Webb. You have to call me. That's about 2023 probably. But guys, and it may not just be that. You might want to be able to know, hey, if I live in the Charlotte area, how easy is it for me to get there? I'm thinking 55 plus because a lot of those folks that are coming this way have grandkids. And I'm going to show you some of the great destinations that you can get to nonstop from Charlotte Douglas International Airport, airport code CLT. Number one, Orlando, right? Now, that's an easy drive. To me, that's less than an eight-hour drive. And Jacksonville is more like about six great cities. But Orlando, I flew there not too long ago. Pay attention to the airport codes, however, because I flew out of, uh, there's a small regional airport here in Concord, and uh, they got some direct flights. We, we flew down to the Texas Panhandle. My wife and I, she's retired now. Uh, I flew down to Orlando for a real estate conference. Pay attention to the airport codes, however. I love flying out of Concord, small little regional airport. But man, Orlando, very close, right? You can fly direct, easy peasy. Next one on my list was Denver, Colorado. Now again, you got a 24 hour drive, right? <laughs> but you can get on a plane and have a direct flight to Denver, Colorado. Got grandkids there? Easy peasy, right? Here's another good one, DFW, right? To get over to, uh, from Charlotte to Dallas, haven't been there for a while, but used to go quite often. And Fort Worth, wow, Joe T. Garcia's Fort Worth. Don't don't miss that one. But that's a nice little flight. And then you've got Austin, Texas, right down here, San Antonio, Houston. But uh, easy little flight, direct flight. Here's another good one, all the way up to New York City. Now it's going the other way mostly these days. People coming here from New York and New Jersey. But guess what? If you want to fly back, like for instance, I've been threatening before COVID. And oh, by the way, well, I've got both my jabs. So I, you know, I'm not, I'm not scarred, but uh, I've often threatened that, hey, if, if I can get a ticket to beat Bobby Flay, which I think they filmed that in Brooklyn, I'm out of here. I'm going up for a day or two. And now here's Washington right here, by the way, guys. Obviously, that's a nice little drive, less than six hours. You know, if you want to go to the Birchmere Club for some music, I did that a few years ago to see Tower of Power. So that's good right there. That's a nice little drive. But direct flights, nonstop. How about from Charlotte down to Miami? Oh, yeah, baby. That'd be a nice little getaway, wouldn't it? I know everybody's thinking about, you know, flying. And there's a lot of international stuff because I'm looking at the Bahamas right here. And I think I'll do that one in, in another video because last, what, right before COVID or so, my wife and I flew from Charlotte direct flight to Amsterdam, spent some time, went on down through Belgium, and then flew back from Paris. That was a cool, and I'll be talking about that on another video. Here's a direct flight from Charlotte down to Key West. Woo-wee. Now, when Patty and I went there, I was living in Hilton Head right here, and she drove down four hours and picked me up, and we took her convertible all the way down, flew that convertible all the way down to Key West. My, that was fun. Here's another nice direct flight. How about down to New Orleans? Now, again, there's a direct flight from the Concord Regional to New Orleans, too. Again, I like that Concord Airport, 
but uh, Concord uh, from Concord or from Charlotte uh, from CLT direct to New Orleans. That's a destination. Here's another one, Seattle. Now, by the way, we've got we've been moving some folks from Seattle here. Uh, got one about ready to move too, guys. Whatever you do, don't Seattle my Charlotte. Don't New York my Charlotte. The reason that you're leaving some of those destinations, don't bring that here. Okay, I love you guys. Come on. But just, hey, don't Seattle my Charlotte. New t-shirt going around. And then the last one I'll talk about is Charlotte, direct to San Fran. Uh, when Patty and I went, where did we go? We didn't fly there, but we flew somewhere close to go to... Uh, Oh, what was the name of that big, what's the name of that big, uh, uh, with the big mountain park, the big park that were there. We went, flew in there, can't think of it. But, uh, but hey, direct from Charlotte, San Francisco, you know, we got people from uh, right there in uh, uh, the Wells Fargo main office coming to the number two, which is Charlotte, direct flight. So guys, these are some of the direct flights you can do from CLT. American Airlines is great. I love this airport. And more of us are going to be thinking about uh, flying. But guess what? If you move to Charlotte, hey, you got a lot of locations that you can go to uh, to see the grandkids or to vacation with a direct flight. That's pretty amazing. What a great place to live, Charlotte, North Carolina. If I've helped you and I think I did, subscribe, hit that like button, give me a call, tell me your story, and I'll see you in the next video.